Well, a very good morning to you, Leanne, uh, from Maputo in Mozambique. Certainly a very significant moment here for these two countries, Mozambique and South Africa. President Jacob Zuma, as you said, together with his Mozambican counterpart, Philippe Nusi, will unveil this Matola Raid monument, of course, in memory of those who were killed in 1981. You would recall, of course, back in 1981 when those apartheid forces had stormed three safe houses, killing 13 MK soldiers and one Mozambican national. Certainly what today will do is once again cement the relationship between South Africa and Mozambique and clearly testimony to the demonstration as well of the relationship between the African National Congress and the Frelimo Party, those who were sister organizations in the trenches fighting against colonialism in South Africa. And certainly, certainly what we will also see here today is a cementing of those two relations, demonstrating once again that the hard-fought freedom that South Africans, the democracy that South Africans today enjoy, certainly was not free. There were those who paid a very high price for South Africans to enjoy this freedom and democracy. So the cementing of those ties here today is what we will see. And certainly, with the not only is this monument going to be unveiled here today, certainly we will also speak to the interpretive center which will also be unveiled which will be an educational tool a tool for those who want to learn more about the raid on the matola raid in 1981 just here behind me what you will see is these pillars here that represent certainly the frontline states, the states that assisted South Africa during very difficult times. And certainly to be in Maputo and Mozambique here today on the unveiling of the Matola Raid Monument speaks certainly to one of those countries that opened the doors to South Africa during very difficult times, Leanne. Priscilla, and uh, we'll get another update from her in a short while.